There are certain things that every attorney who does car accident cases needs. First thing is empathy, right? They, they need to be able to relate to the client's suffering because if they can't relate to the suffering, they can't tell the story of that suffering accurately. No possible way. So the first thing you need is empathy. The second thing you're gonna need, and I think this is a very important thing, is you have to have some medical understanding of what is happening to the injured person. So th there's this famous lawyer out there. He's a younger guy. He's gotten great results. He's, he's kind of like a Hall of Fame attorney. His name is Nick Raleigh. And, and one of the things that's discussed about this guy is he's an amazing trial attorney. He goes to trial, gets big verdicts, everybody cheers. But what people don't actually know is this guy was like a medic in the army or, or some military force before he was ever an attorney. So he had a very deep understanding of injuries, medicine, things like that. That is a crucial component to best car accident attorney. Because the weird thing about car accidents is the injuries that people get from car accidents, they're all similar. They're the same injuries. We see the same thing over and over and over again. So me knowing exactly what your injury is and me being able to say, hey, listen, I think this is what you got. You know, I'm not a doctor, but from what you're telling me, this is, this is normally how it works. Here's the best treatment for you. Because I think everybody believes that, that a really good car accident attorney is just gonna get them a whole bunch of money, but there's a whole lot more to their case than just a whole bunch of money. There's their treatment, their, their wellness, getting back to a position that they can live life the best they can. Those are all the things that the lawyer needs to help them with, because they don't know. I mean, who knows what the symptoms of a, a nerve damage are? Who knows what the exact symptoms of a torn it's called supraspinatus tendon. It's one of the most common shoulder tears you get in a car accident. None of these people do. They, they don't have to deal with this stuff on a daily basis. So that's the second part. And the third part, and, and this is going to be the one that no one's going to believe because when I say it, people are like, yeah, right, is the lack of greed. The case, like I said, is not about money. It's about the person. Is the only thing that I can get for you money? Absolutely. That, that's really the only thing I can get. But your case is not about the money. It's about you. So if I have to reduce my fees, if I have to manage the case to give you the best I can give you, that's what you got to do. So if you went to a lawyer that's greedy or a firm that needs your money to keep operating, I'm not going to say any names here, but there are big firms that that's how it goes down. I mean, they have to feed the beast, you know. At the end of the day, who's the one that's going to take the ride? It's the client. It's the client who, it's who's going to suffer. So those three things, if you got those three things, you got at least the, a good foundation of a very good, if not the best, personal injury attorney. You know, we all learn as attorneys through just work. Really, to be honest with you, my biggest learning has always come from the mistakes that I've made because I thought to myself, this ain't going to happen again. So, you know, do you want to hire a smart attorney? Of course you want to hire a smart attorney. You want to hire someone that has experience? Of course. But if they don't have those three core foundations, empathy, a very good knowledge of the kind of injuries and, and lack of greed, you're not going to get anywhere. You can have the smartest dude in the room. If he doesn't have any empathy for you, he doesn't care about you. You're just a name on a file. If, if he's greedy, he needs to get your case settled so he can get paid.